Okay, so we are looking at AKS A1, which is ratio language. Um, so a ratio is a comparison between two quantities. And we can write ratios three ways. We can write it in words by saying three to four with a fraction three over four or with a colon. And you would still say this as three to four. Um, so let's look at this picture. Um, when we talk about a ratio, we're saying in this example, for every three dogs, there are four cats. So the ratio of dogs to cats is three to four. With ratios, the order matters. So I couldn't say that the ratio of cats to dogs is three to four. That's not true. Um, if I wanted to use the ratio of cats to dogs, I would need to say four cats for every three dogs. Okay? So dogs to cats is not the same as, or sorry, cats to dogs is not the same as dogs to cats. The order matters. Okay, and just like fractions, ratios can be simplified. Um, to simplify ratios, all you have to do is divide both numbers of your ratio by the same factor. Okay, and we'll look at that in just a second. So looking at this example, in a class, there are 20 girls and 15 boys. So I want to write the ratio of boys to girls. Okay, so the order here is really important. I'm going to write the boys first. So we have 15 boys to 20 girls. Okay? Um, now to simplify that, I need to think about what factor do 15 and 20 share. I could divide both of those by 5, and when I do that, 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So my ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 4. For every 3 boys, there are 4 girls. All right, and now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do for the ratio of girls to boys. Okay, so there's 20 girls for every 15 boys. Okay, and I've already done the simplifying because it's the same numbers from the last example. Um, but the order is now different, so now it is four to three. For every four girls, there's three boys. Okay? Now we're looking at the ratio of boys to the total. And one thing I really want you to be careful of is the total means everybody. Okay, so the total is the girls plus the boys, which is 35. Okay, so I have 15 boys to 35 total children. Okay, and when I want to simplify, again I can divide by 5, and I will get 3 boys for every 7 child, 7 children. Okay, all right, and the last one, the ratio of girls to total. There are 20 girls. Again, the total is 35 total children. We need to simplify by dividing both by 5. So I get 4 girls for every 7 children. Alright?